So I've been thinking about the Salton Sea and the area around it. Actually a beautiful place, like I said. Um, you know, I watched a bunch of videos on that area. And all the videos I watched, everybody made it look like the whole place was abandoned. All the towns, all the buildings, um, post-apocalyptic kind of area. It's not. Um, the Sultan City that I was camped on the beach. Um, yeah, they have a elementary school and a high school and a fire department and water and electricity and uh, jobs, cell towers. Uh, I stopped over in Bombay and the Bombay Beach area. And they get the same thing. Yeah, there's some buildings that are um, abandoned, but for the most part, there's a pretty big community around there and uh, a lot of agriculture. There's a lot of uh, lemon tree groves, palm tree groves, vineyards, lettuce, lettuce for miles and miles. Uh, power stations. It's actually kind of a nice area. Uh, fortunately, that sand is contaminated. And I, I think it was worthwhile to fix that lake. I think that would bring a lot of tourists in. I think there's uh, I think it's a good idea. I mean, just all around general, just for the people that live there. And I think people would start moving to that area if they fix that lake. I was thinking there's got to be an easier way than piping 130 miles, 16, 16 pipes is what they're talking about. $90 billion and 130 miles to uh, fix that in desalinization plants, which use a huge amount of power. I don't see why, why couldn't they, since the Colorado flooded to begin with, why couldn't they use the Colorado to refill it? I'm sure the answer there is going to be agricultural water claims. Um, but I think you could, you could do it. I mean, I think you could even do, um, instead of desalinization plants, actually evaporation domes. Pipe the water out, let, let it evaporate. You can use the heat from the geothermal in the area. That's what the power plants actually run on, is the uh, geothermal. Oh, I'm over in uh, Joshua Tree right now. But anyway, have a good day, and thanks for watching. Oh, and um, hi to a new subscriber, DM Slade. Thank you for subscribing. See you later.